I cannot believe that this is actually former FaZe K's response to everything going down with the Save the Kids scandal and scam which he's been heavily involved in alongside other FaZe members. He was removed from FaZe Clan, the others have since been suspended, and yes, just after a week of all this being uncovered, he has finally responded on a YouTube video which, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really surprised his YouTube audience seems to not really care of this kid's charity scam whatsoever, but after waiting, Here's what he had to say. I know I haven't posted in a while and there is so much that I want to say about what's happened in the past month, but because of legal reasons, all I'm allowed to say right now is this. Please, please do not believe what you're hearing online. All of these people making videos think that they know the truth and that they know who's responsible when they just don't. So this is the truth, all right? I lost money. This guy decides to open up with this is the truth. After scamming viewers and fans out of money with this pump and dump scam, the first line you come up with is this is the truth, I lost money, me. Uh, I'm also upset that you guys lost money, but the truth is I lost money and that sucks the most. That's your first line? On save the kids token, but what actually upsets me the most is that anybody else was hurt. Which is curious how you lost money because the evidence out there shows that it didn't stop you from selling the, the token as fast as possible on several occasions. So, so that's definitely a curious thing to leave out. So we've uncovered significant evidence which confirms that a dishonest person abused his trust with me to scam everybody. This person gained my trust and the trust of my friends while still encouraging us to be the public faces of his scheme. He then abused that trust to go and alter the code right before launch, resulting in six figure profits for him and then leaving the rest of us to be blamed. You notice how none of this is explaining any of the main accusations against him? Someone abused your trust, yeah, and you abused the trust of your god dang audience and viewers. It sounds like you just got scammed harder than you were scamming people in the past, which did all of his audience forget he was accused of this a handful of times in CoffeeZilla's video, not just with Save the Kids, but pumping and dumping other cryptos too. So was your trust abused? Was, was your trust abused like multiple times in the past, like with Save the Kids and all of the other tokens too? Or, or are we just gonna leave that part out as well? There are lawyers who are dealing with this manipulation and working with authorities to make sure he pays for what he's done and I want to help as much as I can. And right now, the most powerful thing I have right now is my connection to you guys. You will never know how much I appreciate all of your support. And one way I can pay that forward is by making sure that this con man gets the justice that he deserves. We're conducting a very thorough, independent and aggressive investigation to find out exactly what happened and when and to do that most effectively, I need your help. If you lost any money on Save the Kids token, please tell us your story on this email below so we can share it with our investigators. We want to provide the authorities with all the evidence they need to take the proper action and with your help, we can hold him accountable and make sure he's never able to do this sort of thing again. Thank you. And then of course the final nail in the coffin, bring your audience together, right? Have them come in and act as if we're helping to bring down the actual bad guy whilst pointing fingers away from the actual accused bad guy in this case. I, I think these are the kind of responses that go down in history. You have to say, is it possible that they have found a fall man and someone to take all the blame? I, I guess it it's possible, but with all the evidence out there against these former, I should say, current phase members for some of them suspended, but especially someone like Kay, with how heavily implicated he has been to come out with this kind of response video and try and play the victim alongside all of those people that he scammed, this is a mind-blowing video. I, I cannot believe this was his response. Did you guys also notice uh, the one thing he didn't say the entire video at all? He never said, I'm sorry. The, the, the most he said was, I'm upset. I'm upset that you guys got scammed and I also lost money. He never once said, I'm sorry. Not like that's a catch-all, right? That doesn't save him from anything. But as you were scripting this up over the last uh, week, week and a half, you didn't think maybe, maybe I could squeeze out a, uh, I'm, 
Uh, I'm sorry, by the way, that you guys maybe lost a lot of money. To which those heavily involved in making videos, and uh, we'll be making future videos about this. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the kind of video that provokes what could be the downfall of someone like K. Ordinary gamers, as well as CoffeeZilla, also posting their responses. Here's what Ordinary Gamer had to say. We'll profit off the charity. It's a fucking kid's charity token, motherfucker. All right, you're not supposed to profit off it anyways. All right, that's kind of what I thought. The other thing is, they changed the whale code just right at the last second. This dishonest person. Yeah, even if they changed the anti-whale code where you could transact every 24 hours, why is it that one of your accounts that was linked by a giveaway that you did was transacting every hour? All right, like not every hour, sorry. In some cases, in a matter of minutes. The blockchain doesn't lie, motherfucker. It has your transactions written. So this idea of like, these YouTubers are putting out dish on your videos, pretty fucking ret to me. I'm just putting it out there, but it is what it is, right? Internet's fucking ret but uh, yeah, video soon, I guess. And lastly, someone like Coffee involved in the biggest video breakdown. If you guys haven't, please go check it out. It's great at length and does heavily implicate someone like K alongside someone like Sam Pepper. He says, wow, this response by K is going to age like milk, given the info we've uncovered. Playing the victim after you were involved with charity fraud. Throw up emoji. He plays the victim like he was duped by Sam Pepper when we all know they've been both involved in shady stuff. Moon Portal, Game Safe IO, Safe Galaxy, etc. Both of them are serial pump and dumpers. So basically, K got scammed while scamming others and we're supposed to feel bad? Pass. He tells everyone to not believe anything you hear online while failing to answer basic questions about these other scams he's been involved in and plain innocent. It was a good opportunity to come clean and own up to what he's done. I guess not. Fans are eating it up though. And yeah, that's the general sentiment I think of the uh, the regular public. Of course, this was posted on his own individual YouTube channel where it's his own individual audience who, you know, maybe rightfully so, want to believe he's, he's, a, he's a better guy than he actually is. But like Coffee just said there, like he posted evidence with his video and has claimed, yes, he has done this not just with Save the Kids, but several other cryptos out there as well. So nothing he said in his video really adding up here. And I'm actually surprised this was his response. And we can expect more from both Coffee and Ordinary to, to see what comes out next. And I, I don't think it's going to be very pretty. What did you guys think of the response? For me, there was no dog involved. So it's like, how can I forgive you, man? If you're going to follow the basic, uh, the basic freaking image uh, of how you apologize, where he, I guess he didn't even say sorry, so that doesn't work. Till next time, drink your water, drink your coffee. I'm sorry if I come off as upset here, okay? But there were people that, have, that were scammed that actually lost money. And I truly cannot believe that he came out and did not say sorry. Uh, the worst he said was he was upset and that the truth is he lost money. Like that's the real issue here, which it's not. Okay, I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Bye.